Look at that. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. I did something to my shoulder like for the past two, three weeks. <sighs> I'm getting old. Dang. All right. All right. Get a colonoscopy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> then you'll really be getting old. If you're at the age, then yes, I recommend You're older it. than me, aren't you? By like an hour. <laughs> By an hour. Well, colonoscopies, <laughs> double penetration. <laughs> Whoa! Because they, they did they went right? the mouth, yeah. They did a camera in the mouth, too. <sighs> she said, oh, you're in here for, you're getting the double. Like, what? The double. <laughs> you got that double, double. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> the number two. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you didn't know? And I was like, no. Oh, gosh. But see, this is what I dreaded getting old. It's not, it has nothing to do with age. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Is he supposed to get one at 19? You, if their family, his yeah. mom, yeah. Well, mom is, uh, so yeah. he should. I should. There's t- between 20 and 30 year is olds. Stuff really, is, is it really hereditary or is it that is. just kind of. It is. Is it? I, I mean, that's what. Yeah. So if you say yes, <laughs> if you say yes, my family has a history of this, then they'll like they test, they'll test him or something. Yeah. 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 But I heard it's like a lot now, more so now for like 20 to 30 year olds. I can imagine. I don't yeah. know if it's the food. It's, it's got to be the food. It's got to. Yeah. It's, it's it has something. to be the food. I mean, we're now eating a. Uh, Lab, All the flaming lab, hot stuff. Oh, dude. Oh. Didn't you guys see there was at one point people getting ulcers in their stomachs because of the flaming hots? There was somebody that I knew. The um, doctor told him to stop eating because it was literally tearing the lining of the stomach. Dang. Yeah. So the doctor said to stop eating it because that's what it's doing. They went in with stomach pains and everything. And the doctor said, you're losing your lining from, from eating those things. Stop doing it. Well... We're not going to stop eating because this is hungry wow. and <laughs> bored. Nice. I didn't know we were. B O A R D. I'm your host, Nate, and with me, Ernie. And? And Richard. What's up, guys? This is episode 18, I believe. Yes. Episode 18. Welcome. So I'm going to hand it over to Ernesto to uh, Ernie. Um, Ernie Flismo, Flismo. Whatever. So, so tell us a little bit about Richard doesn't our like meal. KFC. Oh, is that what this is? I, I thought know. you just piled your trash on top of the table. <laughs> oh, dude. I didn't know Richard doesn't like KFC. <laughs> it's not that I don't but we like got no. One of okay, these guys. let it's me like, explain. Oh, I don't like KFC. Okay, no. there's just look at it, it, just to me KFC has changed throughout the whole like years. I'm a I'm an extra crispy kind of guy, not original recipe kind of guy. Ooh, see, I was right. See, I was right. So, I, it's, there's there's Good and bad of, of KFC, but go ahead. So this is the twenty dollar fill up box. Mm-hmm. Hold it up, hold okay. it up. Hold it You've up. heard of that, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, there we it's go. a little pizza type box. Um so again, I well, we talked about it. It was like hundred and fifty degrees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Richard's like, Ernie, don't cook outside. He sent me a message. I was but like, it didn't sound like that. <laughs> it was like, bro, I'm really concerned for your health, bro. It's like 104 degrees out there. So I changed what I was going to make. I'm just, you know what? I, you're right. I don't want to be out, out there right now. So then this popped in my head because I've been seeing this. It started like last week. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, and it's a perfect for like a game night or something. Yeah. 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 It comes with. Let's see. Open it up. Is this in the way? Mm, it just looks a little awkward. You can, but those are all like all like condiments and everything. Yeah. Whatever. Just it. So for this part. Oh, okay, cool. Here you go. See. Wow. We have Where did four biscuits, <laughs> four chickens, two orders of fries, and twelve wing, uh, nuggets with four sauces. Dang. Richard's like, I'm. I don't want to eat that. You, you know, you just. I'll, yes. Yeah. Hungry. Oh, that actually. Okay. Okay. <sighs> He's like, crap. So, no, uh, no. Whatever, Rich. How do we eat this without plates? That's when we already started. I looked. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's why you hear you. I, I think you can hear me. Because oh, I didn't grab the plates. <laughs> but you can eat it like this. You guys are. Uh, that's true. You two could just. That's true. Go to town. All right. Yummy. This guy. No, you know what? It's like I said. It's just to me, KFC has just changed. I'm I'm not just KFC. 
fast food restaurants throughout everywhere have changed throughout the years. It used to be like the Big Mac and it's like the Big Mick. Now it's like super small. You know what I mean? It's like sizes have shrunken. And Do you have any honey? Do they give us yeah. honey? Hun- okay, so the biscuits. Yeah. Oh, and then here's their new chicken sandwich that I wanted Ooh, you guys to taste. Okay. All no, right. you taste no, it. No, I, I got one. Cut it in half. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let, you know what? Let's. I guess the table is my plate now. Like that's. <sighs> so there's buffalo ranch. There's honey mustard. There's. KFC I don't know what KFC sauce, sauce is. That's I don't interesting. Know. And our, there's a soggy and fry. Classic mm. ranch. Yeah, I mean, soggy fries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Presentation, mm-hmm. I give it a eight. Mm. You know, the box and everything. It, okay, it, it's cool. It's a cool package. Yeah, it is. I can see it that. Is. Yeah. I'll, I'll agree on this Classic one. Classic ranch. I'm not supposed to rate these. Sorry. No, you can no, rate. You, you can because you, you didn't. You didn't make it. Yeah. I'll just be the guy. Dang, they, look at how much. Man, this guy just freaking. Yeah, right. You know, Dude, like, I, okay, I so I swear it's because we walked in with the camera. I guarantee you it's I because walked with the camera I, I walked in with the camera, oh, and KFC really? and everything, and the guy was like, oh, my God, we can't be filmed. And he's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But it's weird because every time, because I've been vlogging, like, everywhere I go, yeah. every time I walk into a camera, oh, look at me, I'm they, <laughs> yeah, I am vlogging. They're pretty good. Thank you. Um, people tend to, like, if you go into a restaurant with a notebook, People tend to treat you a little bit better because they think you're a critic. I walk into a camera, I walk into a restaurant with a com- camera. People kind of, you know, they stare at me, but they also kind of try to go their extra, extra mile to, oh, I want to make sure you're getting a good experience. I think if you did that in Stockton, you would just probably get robbed. Probably. Just give me your camera, bro. Yeah. Yeah. At the restaurant. You know what? I'm going to, can I try this first? Yeah. Because I kind of already know what this tastes like. Ooh. I'll still try it, but I'm just Eat saying this. since this is brand new, yeah. like that's right. their brand new one. Yeah. Can I have some honey though? I kind of kind of want my. Let me grab a knife and plates. Get some plates while you're up there. Ooh, that rip! Kind of, kind of, kind of heard that rip too. That's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Throw me a, a honey real quick, Rich. Okay, they didn't cut it in half though. What's that? They didn't cut it in half. What do you want? Honey should be in a stack. Yeah, somewhere right there. I do like their honey. But I think honey is the same everywhere else. I wonder if you would be able to taste the difference in honeys if we were to like line up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh crap! Just just set it right there. This chicken sandwich actually looks pretty good. You know what? You know what makes it look good? The bun. Who? What's your favorite chicken sandwich? Fast food or restaurant, like, or we doesn't matter. No, we're not not restaurant. Not restaurant. Well, I mean, well, just because you brought it up, where what, what restaurant has a good chicken? Chili's? They have a buffalo mm-hmm. chicken ranch sandwich. It's it's my go to every time I go now. It's super good. We've mentioned Chili's before. I love Chili's. I don't know how to cut. You're the cutter. Just cut it in half. Jeez, Chili's. If I had a place to go right now, I'd go to Chili's. What kind of cut is that? You need to show the cross section like that. Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the outside looks a lot better than the inside. Here, Nate. That one's yours. It had your bowl. You can smell the barbecue sauce right away. It smells actually really, really good. I, it never ceases Look, I'm, to amaze I'm not, me. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that I'm unappreciative of the food that's here today, okay? I do enjoy Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm just picky on what I get from Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's all. Sorry we didn't all get right, so, what you would have normally gotten. From <laughs> um, I know we do have two, two other people who want to be on this podcast. Mm-hmm. So we'll be reaching maybe, out maybe to both of you. Maybe they would appreciate it. Because <laughs> I know y'all would appreciate <laughs> some KFC. I liked the... Box idea. Mm. Oh, what's your chip chicken sandwich that's not Chili's? Fast food. Cane's chicken sandwich. I haven't had a Cane's well, chicken sandwich yet. Is it just, they just put the strips in the bun? In the With the sauce. <clears throat> Does that count? 
Is it a chicken sandwich? Popeyes. I mean, if you go to Popeyes, it's the same thing. They put the chicken, two buns, and two pickles. Carl's Jr. does have a good spicy chicken sandwich, crispy chicken sandwich. Um, Chick-fil-A has a good chicken sandwich. I think they're just too small. So it's like you enjoy it and it's gone already. It's like... Mm. I, I would say Popeye's. They're spicy. Good bun, chicken. You like the mashed potatoes? I don't know if I've had the mashed potatoes. They're like a spicy mashed potatoes. Good. Peppery. Good chicken sandwich, Nate? KFC, it, I mean, from like f- reviews and stuff, KFC has a good chicken sandwich. It's not a bad chicken sandwich at all. The only other two that I a lot hear a lot of people say is better is Popeyes and Jollibee. Ooh, mm mm. Bro, I tried Jollibee once, like a burger. It had cartilage mm, in the meat flavor. No. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> once that was it. Mm-mm. I went once and I I didn't care for it. I'd say Popeyes and then um, Chick Fil A probably, but I don't have Chick Fil A often. <clears throat> Twice, maybe a year. What do you? Uh, this is a good chicken sandwich. Hot sauce, butter, ranch. Oh, they added more sauces. How is the KFC sauce? Is it like, you didn't even... I don't, I'm going to try them. There's sauce in this one already. You can't mix your sauces. You can add, they don't have the... <clears throat> oh, that's the barbecue. That's the barbecue I think they put in there. <clears throat> smells like a Louisiana kind of... Hot sauce? Yeah. So I did try a Chick-fil-A uh, spicy chicken sandwich this morning, earlier today. Um, I'd have my favorite chicken sandwich because, you know, Ernie asked me. No, he didn't. But my favorite chicken sandwich would probably be uh, Chick-fil-A. I didn't really like Popeye's. I didn't get the, the big hype for it. It just, it wasn't. I still don't get the hype for Chick-fil-A. I don't, I don't either. But. The spicy chicken deluxe, pretty good. This one, I'd probably rate this after Chick Fil A's. Uh, this would probably be a number two. Wow, it was pretty good. good. Um, that is not my official rating, though. I do have a scale now, <laughs> but we'll get to the ratings later. This hot sauce that I put on these last two bites, they need to do that. They need to do that in their in their. Chicken sandwich. What's the hot that sauce? That hot sauce. Right mm-hmm. You can try it on the chicken. Yeah. They need to do that in a Drum chicken stick. sandwich. Whatever that is. What do you I don't know what that is. Let's go over there. And these are nuggets? Yes. Let me open up the sauces. What, um, what would you say your best biscuits are? For more. I don't really eat biscuits anymore. Do you guys have a church's chicken over here? No. No. Good biscuits. I don't know what other biscuits are around, honestly. I couldn't tell you. Hot sauce is really good. Yeah. How long has KFC been around? Since 1937. Wow. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> we, I saw the date today because <laughs> we were sitting in KFC waiting. And they have like, it, this KFC was actually nice inside. Yeah. But yeah I was like, wow, this is kind of nice. I didn't know they would, they look like that. But they had like this, the shrine to Colonel Sanders there. And the date.
Mm-hmm. The hot sauce and chicken, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's the box. $20. Can feed, what, like three people? Maybe two? Mm. Two. Two to three people. Two and a kid. Maybe. Yeah. Funny story about KFC. KFC <coughs> was my first job that I ever had. Oh. You put some of those little nuggets on here? It was the one over by, I want to say, like, coffee and... I don't know if that's Sylvan or something like that. I don't know. It's somewhere kind of east. Thanks, dude. So I got this job there. They had me clean floors. Started having me. I think I worked there for maybe like not even a month, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so then, what were the wages back then? Four twenty-five. When you were like Jeez. eighteen. 17, 18. And um, so <laughs> I worked there for a couple of weeks. Then I have a birthday, right? Birthday comes up. Literally, I take the, you know, call in. It's my birthday, everything like that. Back then, okay, I think for my birthday, I got like $300, right? And I said, I'm going to quit my job because I have $300. I literally quit my job. At KSC. And, and, and honestly, I think I only worked there for like maybe a week or two, even that. Because I remember I was even embarrassed to go pick up my, my check from there that they had to mail it to me. But yeah, that's. Wow. But you know what? I am a hard worker now. I'm dedicated. They have good fries. I mean, if they were hot. How's the sauce? Is that the KFC sauce? It's it's decent. I don't know if it's something like I would get all the time. Let me try the buffalo uh, ranch. I don't know. Maybe a hint of like honey mustard ish. Yeah. Right. Something like that. Hand me a uh, buffalo ranch, please. Let's try this. Oh, I'm about to. All right, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Enjoy us. Just just watch us eat. Yeah, they, they, I'm sure you'll speed this up or <laughs> cut it. Because we're like, geez, guys. Mm. So what's the topic of the day? Not Buffalo Ranch, because that ain't that good. No? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Did you try the honey barbecue already? No, not yet. You know, <clears throat> I found a ranch, and it is the, <clears throat> it's the Olive Garden labeled ranch. It's good? Good. Then I went and I got um, some buffalo sauce. Kind of mix those together. Get my chicken strips in it. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't know about this, but it, it just doesn't. It does, no. Looks good. It looks like a melted crayon. <laughs> Sorry, KFC. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, what haven't I tried? The honey mustard. Mm, I don't taste like buffalo. I like your food, KFC. Good job. Yeah, the honey mustard is just tastes similar to the KFC sauce. Yeah. 
Yeah. Honey barbecue so far is probably my favorite. The hot sauce is my favorite so far. Mm, hot sauce is good. Trying this ranch. So the problem with this is that I can't reach many, the rest of the food. There's too many. <laughs> like, can, like can, it's do you see too me long. reaching? Like normally, like, we don't take this long to eat. Uh, that yeah. is true. Well, you can fast forward through all this. No, food. I know, but that's right. probably like I don't know why because there's so much different. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a longer segment, all right. No, I was just curious. Okay. Like, ranch normally, is good. Yeah, ranch is good. Mm-hmm. I'd probably put that like number two. Number two on the sauces. Overall, I like it. It's a nice variety pack. Yeah. I mean, again, it's nothing special. You can order this separate. This all you could have always done that. There's a price range. 40 bucks. For what? What did I pay for this? Being that I called it the $20 fill-up box. (laughs) (laughs) This is only 20 bucks? It seems like if you were to buy everything separately, you're going to pay a lot more. Yeah, 20 bucks. Okay. I went with squirt today. Trying different drinks every time we come in. I went with 7-Up because I had some. Oh. Because it's clear. Mm. (laughs) What are you drinking? Ooh. I can't say it because I'm eating. um, Sparkling ice. Sparkling ice. He's like, I can't say it because I'm eating. (laughs) I know. (laughs) You spent (laughs) less words if you would have just said sparkling ice. That's true. That's true. (laughs) Um, yeah. Thank you, Ernie. Won't happen again, Rich. Seriously. You know what? But I'd rather this than you be out. I would have been all like mm-hmm. fainting. Right now. I know. Because you're a fainter. And we'll be back with our official ratings right after these messages. What an incredible word from our sponsors. Thank you, everybody, for following us make sure to like and subscribe to that youtube channel click those little bell in the corner let us tell you what what hymns hymns you can go on to hymns.com and put in code you didn't pay us for hungry that. and bored and get 20% off your oh, next hymns order do don't do that <laughs> It won't work. You can, go. <laughs> you can try it. I don't know. Like, Unless you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, It's not going to work. All right. So welcome back. We are here to give the official food ratings for the 20. What is it? $20? I don't know. $40, $40 fill up box. $40 fill up box. Fill up box from KFC. So, Rich, I will let you go first as I gather my <sighs> thoughts together. Look. Are we doing <clears throat> as a whole or the chicken sandwich and then the $40 box separate? You could do the chicken sandwich. 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 Oh, that was heck. <laughs> <See you? laughs> you do the chicken sandwich first. I mean, as a separate. Okay. Because that is a separate. All right. Separate. So I'll start with the chicken sandwich. See what? The chicken the sandwich. Chicken sandwich. <gasps> it's the heat. What were we yeah. at? 103 today? It's supposed to be 105 tomorrow? I thought it was supposed to be like 110. Oh. It was like 103. Something. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty hot. Anyways, <clears throat> chicken sandwich. Uh, chicken barbecue. sandwich was good. Yeah, had the barbecue sauce on it. If you know what barbecue sauce tastes like, that's what's in the chicken sandwich. But when I put the hot sauce on the chicken sandwich with the pickle and the bread and everything like that, it kind of mm, they should be doing something like this. Um, but how it came. I would give it a six out of ten. 
with the hot sauce, it would jump up to maybe an eight. I would give it an eight if Ooh, it if it a, was with that hot sauce. Yeah. Um, overall box, um, it's got the variety. It's got everything that you want. As I just found out, I thought it was original recipe, but you guys said that that's extra crispy, and I don't remember extra crispy looking like that. So presentation to me, when it comes to fast food restaurants, things like that, it means a lot because it, it's either been sitting there for a long time, but it's still crispy, or, you know, who knows what they put in it to keep it crispy and it still has that crunch, but it looks super soggy. That's just my thing on it. I remember it being crispy, looking crispy, not mm. original. Um, so the box itself, the little chicken nuggets were pretty good. I didn't care for the sauces. I think the only sauce that, that really mattered to me was the ranch was good and the hot sauce was good. All the others, they just, they're not going to even rate with me. They just, I didn't like them at all. Okay, one looked like melted crayons. I think that was a buffalo ranch, you know. <clears throat> Couldn't taste the buffalo. You taste a like it tasted nothing, but it just tastes like ranch, but with red ink in it. So um, I think overall the box uh, with the biscuits, again, because I know what the biscuits taste like. It's like it's another dry biscuit, okay, if they would maybe coat it or, like, bake it with honey, something on top of it, bake it like that. Okay, yeah, then, mm, yeah. So the biscuits, eh, the chicken, eh, the chicken nuggets, good, okay, um, and then uh, soggy French fries. What are you gonna say about soggy French fries? <laughs> but uh, you know what? What restaurant doesn't? There's French fries get soggy after a while. So the whole box, the whole box, I would give it a four out of ten. Dang. Yeah. I didn't make it. Yeah. No. And that's, it's not because, you know, it's, 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 I expect more KFC. Got it, got it, got it. My, my rating's a little bit different. So, <clears throat> chicken sandwich first. Very good. Or, sorry, on my scale, it was good. And the scales will be up, probably covering Rich and Ernie. So, I give the chicken sandwich a six- out of 10, which on my scale is better. So better than average food. I would not mind coming back or eating this again. It's better. It's my number two on list of chicken sandwiches. A number two is a six. Yeah. Leave his rating. He's rating. No, can you, I, I, can no, you I, leave yeah, yeah. my Just rating like, system I, alone? I, yeah, you understand. But let him read I, it. I okay. get that. I get that. <laughs> I haven't had a... Oh. I haven't had a superb or almost one? perfect Chick-fil-A, but even that is only a seven. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've never, oh, I have not God. had a eight, nine, or ten on the chicken sandwich scale. What was wow. Ernie's chicken sandwich? Wow. Oh, maybe. I'm curious. Let me see. No, to, no I want to see what it was. I want to see what it was. Spicy one? Yeah, it was a spicy one. What was it? Actually, Ernie's got a nine point eight. Oh, on my scale. wow! There you go. <laughs> so. Wow. Do you, but, have, do you have points on the scale? Like no, but it was yours would be considered superb slash almost perfect. There you go. An orgasmic taste, a mouthful of flavor, orgasmic. an absolute must try. There you go. Pat yourself on your back, my friend. That was a very good sandwich. Yeah, good job. But we weren't. Sweet. Pat yourself. What's <laughs> 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 that? Uh, but your chicken sandwich is not on the list because you said no, of I, the it, fast yeah, food, yeah, fast food yeah. chain. Yeah. No, I know. Yes. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Six out of ten. It was it was better. Good, you know. Woo. Could uh, be better. It it could be better. It definitely could. Now, I see where Rich ranked the forty or the twenty dollar fill up box a four for like everything in it. I ranked it a seven, which is good. You know, this is uh your usual spot, kinda food is good and the company might be good as well. I just rated it a seven. Rate your dogs a two. <laughs> <laughs> so I rated it a seven just because of the presentation of it. Is it something that I would get all the time? Probably not. The chicken was decent. The I the super or extra crispy, I just felt like I was just biting into crispy skin. You know what I mean? That's just how it felt. It didn't That's what you like though, right? Yeah. See, I didn't like that. 
I was just like, oh, okay, I'm just. No, gonna. I I want, but it would just it, the, it didn't look right. The biscuits, way too plain. Adding even adding the honey, a little bit better, but still. It's like you would have to add like three packs of honey to yeah. that thing. To their, like, their little nuggets were not nuggets. They, were, they, I bit into it and it didn't taste it didn't have the all right, i'm gonna bite into this nugget it's gonna be a little bit soft and a little bit juicy it was just kind of dry and so food wise I'd, I'd agree with you i'd actually let's go back to the scale yeah i'd say it's probably a four food wise soggy soggy fries and we have uh for four it's poor or meh yeah it was meh you can get by with this this will do if you're in a tight squeeze but you can do better do better presentation wise i gave it a seven because it's one of those well, my seven is good it's it's one of those hey you're having a party you're having a game night yeah that's something good you can go and get 20 bucks get a, two of those 40 bucks and now you're you're doing good you you've covered your your basics of having food at a game night yeah well, would hungry and bored ever get this again no I get invited to your house, I'll probably take this off because <laughs> <laughs> it's quick and easy. <laughs> oh man, I would, but no. All right, I okay. didn't taste any of it. I'm just going off presentation. Ernie, we saw you eat nuggets. A little nuggets, but I didn't eat, eat everything. But you ate something. I taste. I picked. Okay, but you ate. I'd say oh. an eight. An eight. Presentation. Okay, presentation. I like the idea of the box. I like the idea of you pick it up. It's the girl the that's working at KFC is not watching this podcast, okay? You take it to someone's house, and it's like, here you go, and you open it. It's like, oh, come on. <laughs> Did you really see my expression when I walked in yeah. and I looked at it? He was like, oh, great. I think I have some. <laughs> Dang, he's all, wait, something came up. I got to go home. <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. Thank you for providing. Yes. Thank you, Ernie, for uh we won't do that again. You know what I think would actually give a probably a one on my scale, which is <clears throat> abysmal slash stay away from this. Never going back to this establishment, never ordering this meal or drink again. Stay away. I even have like a crossbones little thing on it is uh, in Thailand. There is a Burger King that it's called the real cheeseburger and it's 20 slices of American cheese. Between two buns with no meat. So you're talking the best grilled cheese sandwich ever. No, I don't think that would be the best grilled oh, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might be onto something. <laughs> you, you might be onto something. <laughs> I don't think so. I, right? I don't know. I'm looking at this and it's just I'll I'll throw the image up. But I show him the best. Uh, I can't do that's too much cheese. That's just way too much, man. Mm. <sighs> Nah, Ernie, you're tripping. Grilled cheese. That's, that's too much cheese. So, oh, grilled cheese. How okay. many slices? Twenty. <sighs> do you have Do you have cheese? Can Bro, we, that's like grabbing like one of those slices. packs of cheese and just like biting through the oh, like I, <sighs> but melty. Just that doesn't look melted though. It just looks like. The, you know what hamburger joint that that has that what is it cheese skirt or whatever mm, is crap. I know it's gonna freeze. Squeeze in. Yes. What is it? The squeeze in burger. What the heck's squeeze in burger? You never had squeeze in burger? Never had squeeze in burger. Bro, squeeze in was, burger. Was that diners, drive and dives at one point? Yeah, I think so. Do we have a squeeze in burger around here? No. Lodi? Stockton has one Stockton. now. Stockton, okay. So we're gonna Juicy have to burger, and they just <coughs> get like cheese, and it's just like a cheese skirt, like just around the whole thing. Interesting. Pretty legit. Pretty good. But that's what it reminded me of when you said it. Yeah. But that is a lot of cheese. Lot of cheese. <laughs> you know, 20 who? slices? It's a lot of cheese. You know who does have a really good uh, grilled cheese sandwich? Yes. Velvet Grill. Oh, yes. Look at that. We're right here. <laughs> we are right here. I knew he was going to say that. Velvet Grill <laughs> has an amazing grilled cheese sandwich. Have you gone back since your... Uh... Yeah. So I did a vlog and I went back this, I want to say Thursday. I think I went back on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Took my camera and as soon as I walked in... Don't say what you ate. Okay, no, no. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna. I took the camera and everything, but I didn't get like B-roll or anything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It, it wasn't the same vibe as the last one, but I I got French toast. You were talking about the customer service. 
No, like uh, like the B like enough B roll to actually vlog. Oh, like okay. Make a, I see what you're saying. Make yeah, a full yeah. episode. Right, right. <clears throat> uh, but as soon as I walked in with the camera, there were some of the chefs that I, that I recognized from the last podcast. So they were just talking, and then another girl went up to one of the other girls and started telling her, "Oh, this guy's coming in with the camera." Blah blah blah. And I feel like the waitress though was being extra super nice. Yeah, you got a camera. Yeah, and and I get it, and I wouldn't hold that against her on like the rating or anything like that. But it was just interesting to see, like, you know, people, how, how people interact when you have a camera or a notepad or whatever and you're trying to rate something. But, uh, but no, I went back and got the French toast. And I will say their French toast. That is a, I, wanna, I think I said a 9 out of 10 on my scale. That is something I will recommend to everybody who goes to Velvet Grill. You want a good breakfast place? It's called Lumberjacks in Stockton. That sounds familiar. <clears throat> Bro, it's literally, it, it's like the name, Lumberjacks. Like you think Lumberjack, dude. Ronnie dude carrying an axe on his shoulder. There's actually a statue of a guy with an <laughs> axe and carrying his axe on But uh, yeah, plates, it's just, it's like a super beefy kind of, I mean, they have lunch, dinner, all that stuff, but breakfast is, bro. Yep. It's, right. it's like, I don't know if you guys are fans of uh, Black Bear. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that, like but big portions of just Dude, Black food. Bear used to have the greatest French toast. I would have given this a they 10 still out of don't 10. Have it? No, they discontinued it. Really? I know which one is. <clears throat> I would have given this a 10 out of 10. <clears throat> it's the cinnamon roll French toast. It was an actual cinnamon roll. Slice it. Sliced it. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that sounds good. That's good. That yeah. yeah that that would have been a, a solid 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to say something about uh, restaurants, okay? okay? When it comes to, like, eating breakfast and stuff like that, right? So I have this thing, IHOP, Denny's, any place that if I'm going to eat a breakfast meal, if they don't have <laughs> they don't have cranberry juice, Ooh. I can't, I, I just, I can't, I can't eat breakfast. It's just... Why cranberry juice? I love cranberry or juice. Or breakfast only? Yeah. I mean, I could, like, throughout, I mean, if it's, oh, know, yeah. it's in the refrigerator. I'll, cranberry you know, juice I'll, is amazing, dude. Yeah. And I all love, these places carry it. it? Well, I stopped eating at Denny's because they don't you serve. You just take a can with you? No. Because no? they don't serve cranberry juice. And I don't really like Denny's menu, menu anyways. It feels like no. I tasted everything so on it. Denny's, real quick, I love Denny. But I like, uh, I'm fixing the clock. No, it's fine. <laughs> now you can see it inside <laughs> uh, but I was going to actually make a Denny's meal for us the moon's over my hammy Ooh. Oh, so, wow. but redone like to yeah yeah that's all that's why I brought yeah. up Denny's Moon, moon's over my hammy yeah you got some fans out there right now that love that for us yeah yeah mm -hmm. oh. I remember De <laughs> Denny's is the place it's kind of generic, but like after a, well, now everyone goes to in and out and Canes, but after like the youth service or something, yeah, after an event, like always a big spot. Denny's is yeah. spot. So that, uh, Denny stopped serving cranberry juice and then I would go, so I started going to IHOP for breakfast and all that. And then one day they're like, we don't have no more cranberry juice. We don't serve it no more. And I'm like, okay, I can't. And I do not go to those restaurants wow. because I know I'm going to eat a breakfast meal from there and they just don't have. And you won't juice. take your own. Huh? You won't take your own? No. Why not? Is that kind of like taking your own hot sauce? Like, I, I mean, I guess people do that too. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I just. <clears throat> whoa. Easy. Whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah, oh, dang. <laughs> I'm still sick. <laughs> it's, it's a vacation. Dang. You all right? I'm fine. You sure. <laughs> he gets you? See, it goes away. That's why I don't know. Oh. It, uh, it's all right. Um,. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I just, I can't, I'm I'm a cranberry guy, and I just, if I'm eating breakfast somewhere, it's, they got to have cranberry juice. If, literally, if I say, you guys have cranberry juice? No, we don't have, I'm not eating breakfast. I'll get something else. I'll get a lunch or dinner plate. Oh, okay. Just can't do that's it. Interesting. So do you, uh, I'm sorry, lost train of thought. You but breakfast at your house, do you have cranberry juice? I do. Oh, yeah. okay. I do. And if I don't have cranberry juice, I won't eat breakfast. Do you eat oh, breakfast yeah. any time of the day? Um, no, I can't do that. Oh. 
Well, I take it back because I can come home, you know, from like a church service or something and be like, I feel like some chorizo burritos, you know, mm -hmm. and they oh, just make them up. Something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm a, like, I can have breakfast all day. Yeah. Cook me some eggs, some French toast or pancakes with some slab of ham or something. That's, yeah. I'm a breakfast guy. What are you? Um, I, I don't eat breakfast ever. No. Unless. Here we go. Very rare. Unless he goes out to eat with his Velvet father. Velvet Grill, I'll eat breakfast when we go. Because we, we go there a lot. That's where everybody goes. Oh, it's someone's birthday. They want to Velvet Grill. Stick. Velvet really? Grill. Yep. Really? <clears throat> like on a Saturday morning, it's yeah. like, oh, it's Father's Day. Let's go to Velvet Grill. Or really? It's, it's Mother's Dude, Day. That's let's the spot. go to Velvet Grill. Velvet it's Grill. Oh, here's a plug. Just a plug for Velvet <laughs> Grill. Velvet <laughs> Grill is the best diner. We go there a lot. In Modesto. Really? That's the only place I'll eat. The only yeah, well, you know what's funny is that only on Dale Road. For my nephews, don't my go nep to McHenry. Like if I come down, like hey, let's let's meet up, Jose or Jimmy, or one of We'll go to Velvet Grill. It's like the Velvet Grill. Yeah, that's that's the spot. So if we if if I meet them somewhere, it's there. It is, and the one by the mall. Yeah, yeah, the one by the mall on Dale Road. If you go to McHenry, good luck because you'll probably end up sick or you'll have horrible service. It's not even like that. It <laughs> is. I've gone sick? there multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe not sick, but horrible service. That you will not get treated as well as you would at Go in with your Dale. camera. When he posted that, That's true. Shared, <laughs> when he posted that Velvet Grill on Dale, I, I I shared it on my story. And two people messaged me and said, "Oh, the McHenry one's better. They're night like all this stuff." So, I don't know if they just don't like you there. They see you coming in, they're like, oh gosh, it's this guy. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should take my Here camera. Here comes that guy asking for the split pea soup again. I know, right? <laughs> hey, split pea soup was pretty good. No, so, but two people I said, mentioned it because they should have watched it right now. Yeah, they should have watched it right now. I have a funny story about the uh, Velvet Grill right there um, on Dale Road, though. This is back in the day when we used to just do the dumbest things uh, wait 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 oh journeys with rich no no not no, journeys with rich no. flash flashback with rich <laughs> i don't know and, and uh, do we have time for this remembering yes? with okay. rich okay five minutes memories uh, with rich no but i remember we used to chase each other around like in the cars like you know we were fighting each other you know and we'd you know, pull over, pull over, fool. No, you pull over, fool, right? So we're, like, doing all kinds of stuff. So In we, cars? In cars. Like chasing? Yes, yes. Okay? Yeah, I wasn't there. So, <laughs> so this was near Velvet Grill? Or? This was at, we actually pulled up to Velvet Grill. Um, there used to be, like, a, I don't know if that GNC's oh, was yeah, still yeah, there yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like that. Car, okay, yeah. there used to be something right there, right? So all of a sudden, and I'm I for the life of me, Jesse's probably yelling at the TV right now, saying like it was so and so. I can't remember who it was, right? So we get off the car, right? I we pull up in one car, and whoever else was with us pull up in the other car, and we're like, "What's up, fool? What's up?" So we start literally, we're fighting, but we're completely acting this whole thing out, right? Not we didn't script none of this. We just get up and just start just start hitting each no face shots and just kind of sparring, just bah, bah, socking each other in the body and everything like that, right? So it, I mean, it's going, it's going, and I think, I think Isaac, you may have recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> he might have that on footage. I think he might have been there. So, anyways, we're just I, it's me and somebody else, and we're just going, and he's throwing me on the car, bam, I'm throwing him on the car, bam, and we're socking each other and everything like that. This lady comes out of Velvet Grill and she's like. Hey, you guys need to knock it up. I'm gonna call the cops, right? So we're like, shut up. You know, we're like just going, we still like going at each other and everything like that, right? So if people are starting to freak out, right? People are like, other people are starting to come out of the restaurant and everything like that. And they're like, hey, stop it, stop it, stop. And literally, we just jumped back in, in separate cars and we're like, just took off. Like, Dang. those were the things that we did. It was fun. <laughs> It sounds fun. I got it was. I don't know what it was. It was just like let's just go be dumb and do that. It, I mean, it, it was. I I, I could have sworn Isaac recorded it. There was somebody with a camera that was recording it because they got out of the car too and they're recording it too. So Isaac, if you have that footage, man, send it to it us. It sounds familiar though. Yeah. Yeah. send it to us so we I can know put you that guys on. Used the to, we used to do that. Mm -hmm. Like these fake fights, like, ugh, ugh. yeah, yeah. We always used to do stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. 
but and like the, I the, remember the Kung Fu one we watched. Yeah, yeah. Remember my dad's uh, pickup, the little white pickup. Oh yeah. Okay, so one time we we're driving around the neighborhood. I was driving, and I think. You and Jesse, he had like a small camper in the back, right? Super small. Like you were like sitting like this inside the camper, right? It was so small. So he had these little sliding windows and they didn't have screens on them. Okay. So we're driving through neighborhoods, right? And (laughs) I don't know if he was doing, but they were in the back of my dad's truck lighting um, uh, bottle rockets. They were lighting bottle rockets. So I'm driving through these neighborhoods and these guys are like lighting them and oh throwing them out the oh window as we're well driving through. Yeah. I don't, that was not me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no. <laughs> we, I remember being in the back of your dad's. Oh uh, my God. You didn't God. need like seatbelts or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, right. Back in, the back in the day. But that, I was not throwing <laughs> bottle rockets out of I the don't car. know. <laughs> That's. No. That's a Victor's brother type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was not me. I, would, no. mm, I mean, we went, bro. Like, there was, okay. <laughs> For whatever reason, okay, like, okay, let me just say this, all right? Where I work now, I, I'm, you, you know, trains go by and everything like that. The kind of job that I do, I get kind of not close to trains, but, you know, um, close enough to tracks, work around tracks and stuff like that. <clears throat> So anyways, I think now, how did we ever get so close to trains back in the day when you used to live right there off of uh, in, the, in the trailer? We would get, when it would go under the underpass and, and the trains would be there, we would like literally be just standing next to the train just throwing yeah. rocks at it or whatever. Like Dang. even even when you guys had your like dirt bikes and stuff and they're like racing right next to the train, <laughs> like trying to beat the train, you know? And I think to myself... Like, my heart literally, like, drops now when I, I'm not even standing near the tracks when I'm working. I'm like, oh, my God, that's, like, you know what I mean? It's just, but those that. types of things, you know, Dang, like, back in the day, you know, what we used to do. And I then, remember racing the train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd always, yeah, get on the, the quad or just a little mini bike and, and, and race. <laughs> it was, Dang. it was not safe. <laughs> what we used to do but it, you know? that's crazy though like if you think about it nowadays like there's still people who do that yeah but we look at them like yeah yeah and but you know when you guys are young it was just like no nah, i'll just go like i don't think it wasn't like a big deal no like i remember growing up i would here in salida there were, we used to have a ramp right next to the train tracks and we would go on our bikes us and then the neighbors a couple of houses down and we would jump off the ramp, try to jump over the, the train tracks on bikes and everything, and we'd get in trouble yeah. all, all the time. Just, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, here we go. Here, there's Another story that I remember, oh, okay? No. Those are the couple stories that I remember. So I remember being, we would, and I think we mentioned this on one of the earlier podcasts too, where we would literally, they still do it, I'm sure they still do it, but you get, a whistling pee, you smash the bottom of it, yeah, okay, yeah. tape it up, whatever, right? Light it, it whistles, blows up. So we would hammer all these at this guy's house, fix them up, go over to over the where the freeway was at and light them and just throw them, just throw them like onto the freeway. Oh my God. <laughs> it was bad. We weren't, it was not like, good. It was like a cold case of like, <laughs> oh, right. oh, oh my God. God. Like, mm. I didn't throw it over. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, because there was even you know, a couple times where like we would throw them and they didn't make it on the freeway. They like landed in the grass. So we'd like to have to run down there and like, you know, stomp the fire out or something. It was just, uh, yeah. There's different times. Yeah. 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 It was still dumb. Yeah, it was. Dumb then, dumb now. But it was just different. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. (sighs) Next story. Oh, so speaking of like all cars and everything. What did you find? Me and Ernie. Did we talk about it last week? Cruising. (gasps) They passed it. Yeah. Yeah. Cruising passed. It's now unbanned yes. in modesto right or yeah, modesto. bravo modesto bravo bravo we should go cruising next weekend <laughs> oh i gotta fix my jeep first <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go on ernie's ernie's rav but, but you brought up a car we'll, we'll talk about the cruising thing but um jesse 
Yeah. Reminded me that I didn't have Dayton's. I had Roadsters. <laughs> <laughs> I had Roadsters. Roast, on my car. Hey, you know what, man? <laughs> so for, just to correct <laughs> this, I said I had Dayton's. I didn't have, I couldn't afford Dayton's. That's why I said he probably stole them if he had Dayton's. Uh, they, were, they were Roadsters. Yeah. Well, Roadsters were still cool. You just had to shine them up a little bit. Yeah. They're still good. You had the little eagle on it or something yeah, like that. You yeah. did. Yeah, so Roadsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cruising. Cruising. It's back. It is back. It's funny. Yeah. We talked about it, and then it's like, I yeah, didn't know they were yeah. voting on it. Yeah. I was just like, oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. It's it's something that Modesto's always done. You know what I mean? And, and I know that I'm sure that they're going to have, because you get those street shows and everything, where they're like just peeling out and doing circles. Just I'm sure if that was back in the day, we'd be doing that yeah. too kind of thing, you know, which is completely <laughs> dumb, <laughs> <That's> dumb. <laughs> you know, but it, it's just, it's a good vibe when you're, when you're out cruising or you just, yeah. uh, you, you appreciate the cruise, you know, you're just driving back and forth or you just pull out a lawn chair and just chill on a Friday night, you know, and just watch the cars go by. So I brought this up to uh, one of the guys that I work with and younger crowd. I'm the oldest guy in the office. Um, and I was like, hey, they they unbanned cruising. Like, you know, McHenry might go back to it. it it's possible that McHenry will go back to the, like, everyone cruising, people walking. And one of the guys was like, that's so stupid. Like, what do you mean? Like, you're just going to drive your car up and down. And I'm like, do you not understand? Like, how just. Yeah, I don't know now, though. Like, would that still be a thing with the younger? Not with the younger. It would be all the. Sorry to say, but it would be all the olders. Well, I don't know because you have, I'm not, I'm not no. big on the car yeah. thing, but you have guys who like to show off their That's street true. cars. You know what I mean? No, you're right. And right. and how it loud is. they are, what they look like, and, st- and stuff like that. And you right know? now, you go to like where In and Out is right here mm-hmm. on yeah. weekends. All the Civics and like those. Yeah. They'll park there. Yeah. Or yeah. And another parking lot. All the other cars. Whereas yeah. now they'll probably just yeah, let's just cruise back and forth. Yeah. 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 Make it a lot safer too. Yeah. You know what I mean? They always get chased out of these parking yeah. lots too. Yeah. And yeah. they added a bunch of speed bumps in the parking oh, lot. Oh, did they really? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's the same way over there in Stockton off of uh, Trinity Parkway. Um, there's a Sonics there, and all the cars like all park like in the uh, Lowe's and Target parking area, and just kind of show off their cars like there. Yeah. Stuff like no, that. No, I think cruising yeah. would be. Still yeah, be good. I think it'd be a good thing. Yeah. Um, I just want to go back to a. Uh, a comment left by some of our viewers regarding your car. 1983 sick silver regal. It was sick. Worth about 15K today. Oh. But you didn't have Dayton's, bro. You had Roadsters. <laughs> kind of like wearing Airwalks. They were cool shoes, but everyone knew they weren't from Foot Locker. <laughs> 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 That's true. That person has jokes. That's funny. Um, another person we'll try said, to get him on the show." Yeah, <laughs> another person per- has jokes. Another person corrected us and said it was 10 second Tom," referring. Oh, back I to, know. I said 10 second Bob" or yeah, something like that. Ten yeah. second Tom. I knew it wasn't saying it right. I, was, I think I even said Tim. I was like 10 second Tim. I was like saying it all wrong. Sorry. Wow. For all uh, you movie buffs out there. Don't feel bad, Ernie. Maybe Nate's taste buds are still transitioning from chicken nuggets and alphabet soup <laughs> to your fine cuisine. You did mention that, though. You're like, your palate's got to be different from his. Yeah. Um, Nate's rate is brutal. That's a good name. Nate's yeah. rate. Yeah. It is brutal. Yeah. Going back to these comments is pretty funny. Yeah. Keep those comments yeah. coming. Keep the comments coming. We'll bring it up every episode or so. Make corrections. Yes. I Correct just, us when we are wrong. You know, it, I don't. When I seen the clip, you know, after they passed that bill, you you can literally hear like the joy and the applause from all those people because they understand. It's just. It's just one of those things, man. It's just like you. You just. If people nowadays may say, oh, you're just going to go and waste them. Look at how much gas is, and you're just going to waste your gas and all this stuff. It's almost like a stress reliever, yeah. you know? Just throw some music on, jump yeah. in your car, and just, just drive, drive With up your and feet in behind us? <laughs> yeah. <that>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
But no, even even in the video, there was nobody opposed. They all yeah. they all. There was an event today, um, downtown. Downtown, where they had the sign like cruising ba- prohibited and stuff, uh-huh. and they were like celebrating the whole. Oh, uh, nice! Oh, damn! Yeah. Yeah. That would have been cool Instagram. to go to City of Modesto. Yeah. yeah, I saw City of Modesto people. I don't want to say City of Modesto people, but Modesto like leaders okay. kind of up there. So, so when okay, so I think we all kind of had like little sound systems in our car back in the day. Right. So I was thinking about this the other day. Right. And I was thinking if I was only making for something, how did I afford buying like a Kenwood stereo? You stole it. <laughs> You're gonna say I I'm don't lying. I don't remember stealing or somebody. Maybe somebody stole it. Stole and it it and yeah, it could have been very that. Cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Like. No, oh, that's the answer. That's oh, okay, not. it is the okay. <laughs> is it though? It is. Dude, I, th- I think Rich Mona stole. Those. So I was thinking about that, right? So I'm thinking, okay, I I had this, you know. Um, I remember we used to even like trade, like amps, or you had like extra speakers or something. You know, you had extra speakers. Like, hey, I have these two extra speakers. I'll trade you this amp for these speakers. You know, there was a lot of trade going on back then. A lot of trade. You know. Um, Interesting, but I do remember this, and it was kind of the getaway of doing it, but it worked, okay. And you could get house speakers and pop them in the back of your truck or the back of your car. Oh yeah, and you just hook them up. You know what's so crazy is that back then, okay, instead of taking it to an auto like um, like an audio store or something like that, you're literally hands on learning how to install. Your own stereo system, yeah. wiring it yourself, wiring your speakers, everything. It wasn't, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like if everything was hands on yeah. back then. If you were to say, hey, can you hook up my stereo to my car? I'm be like, I don't, I, pff, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how to do that stuff. Yeah. No, we would do. But yeah. it tear down pan door yes. panels running. It was yeah. Just, tear our cars weird. apart, wire it the way we wanted wiring. I mean, we were like, we customized our own stuff back in the day the way we wanted it to. You know, it was just, it was something crazy. And then you know? you'd hear us down the road, the vibrating. Yeah. Like, it's so dumb. <laughs> but inside. Oh, inside. <laughs> but inside, <laughs> yes. It sounded so Outside, you sound like an idiot. Inside. You can still hear those people now who. Like, yeah, they're like, <laughs> all vibrating. Oh my god, god, it sounds like crap, man. (laughs) But inside, it sounded good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dang, that's great. I remember those, man. We're bringing it back. Yeah. Dang. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hungry and Bored Cruising Edition? Cruising the Rab 4. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We can. I think that'd be. Comment down below (laughs) if you would like to see us go and cruise (laughs) in Ernie's Rab (laughs) 4. With, with the or without the cool. dogs? My without the cool. dogs. But it's not a cruising car. What? I mean, and might be a stupid question, but what's considered a cruising car? I don't know. Classics, right? That's what my first idea would or thought would be. BW classic bug. cars. Oh gosh! Don't tempt me, Man. bro. Don't tempt Didn't me. Didn't you drive a bug? I had a, cu- a few VW bugs. Dang. Can you imagine just cruising in a VW like? Yes, 69, I can. Sixty-nine, sixty-seven. That's my year. I want a 60. If you're out there and you want to give away a 67 or 68 bug, let me know. I had a 69, a 70. I always said, because I never got a bug. When you guys all got bugs, I didn't get a bug. Okay. I've always said that if I ever, ever get a 68, 67 bug, I don't want no other car. I'll keep that car for the rest of my life. That's my car. I'll drive it everywhere. I would too. Yeah. I love bugs. With AC. You can have the Well, bugs. yeah. AC on top. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice, though. Dang. That would be nice. And now they're discontinued. Well. Yeah. So the price range went. They're expensive. Right yeah. Now. I think any type of bug, though. I think they've completely stopped. Right? I don't know. but Like VW bugs. I mean, I, I've seen people put them up for sale, and you're like... You're gonna end up spending another six grand to fix this thing up, and they're selling it for four thousand, yeah. three thousand, four thousand. I was at a yard sale, and they were selling one there. Yeah, 
was like six, five to six, and it was just all like <clears throat> in parts. Everything oh. was there though. Yeah. But you kind of it was like a a project. You yeah. go and you're putting everything back together. You know? yeah. so, which would be kind of cool, but still. Yeah, 2019 model year will be the last, or was the last, for the, the iconic. The new ones were. Yeah, I mean the new like, but they they've just put a stop to yeah, now they're the bus. any type Did you of see the bus. The new ones? No, they, they made yeah. new buses. Nice, new bus. really. You look at it and you'll see they announced it like officially, like really, yeah, just recently, like a month ago. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those either. Look at the new. One. I wouldn't mind one of those either. It's a li- like it's for what real. the heck? Does it have a vintage look to it? Ah, no, it's got more of a. Oh wow. It's still got that old school a look bit. to it. I mean, obviously, they even got it's all surfing and everything. Wow, yeah. dude, that's pretty cool. That is. Throw up the image right here. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll throw. Nice. Yeah, I'll throw up the. Take the survey. They want you to take a survey. It's cool. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, I yeah. It's Bro, you throw that, just lower it. Dude, that'd be that. That'd be pretty cool. Surf a little rack on top. So little with your help. There. We can finance a hungry and bored VW. <laughs> and we'll all go cruising. And we will go cruising. <laughs> yeah. I think they're trying to do that over in Stockton, though, too. Dang. I don't know if they're opening it up or not, but like the cruising and everything like that. And blue, green, orange, and yellow. Those vintage ones, though, those vintage bushes, though, the 18 window ones, where it's like windows everywhere, all around that thing. Nice. We'll ask our friend Jesse. He'll know somebody that has a bug. He knows somebody that has yeah. a bug. Yeah. These are nice. <laughs> He's that guy. Yeah, he knows. He'll, I know the guy's name, too. I told him I want to pump him up so much that people are going to start, like, asking for him to yeah. come on the show so he can get on here. Yeah. Nice cars. Very nice cars. Yeah. That's the end of that segment. Yeah. We'll be back with our next. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't forget to use that code hungry and bored for your <laughs> next available meal from Ernie. So we do have a uh Oh, yeah. Never mind. I don't know. You know what? There's people that they you know what they've been asking me? If I'm single? Ooh. <laughs> is he single? Oh, dang. No. no. Unfortunately. Sorry. Um they say uh does he do that regularly? Cook. Ah. They're like like, like as a profession. Oh, yeah. I said no. He just likes to do it for fun for us, and nobody else. Just for us. Is that weird? No, um, no, no. They actually thought it was really cool that's cool. that you don't have no schooling or anything like that. You're like doing it like by yourself, yeah. man. And it's good food. Well, I kind of pump it up a lot. I'm like, oh yeah. my god, it's so good. It tasted so it great. Well, let's let's go back through the ratings. I think I think we can see if it's been. Uh, it's been pretty average. Let's see. I mean, I, I'm saying like the wow. the score has been like so the score has been like you know. The I first started uh, <laughs> rating on the Ernie's Tomahawk steak. Now this is before my initial rating chart, official rating chart. Uh, so nine for Tomahawk steak, nine point five for Tarta Cubana, eight for Philly cheese steak, uh, seven point five for Smash Burger, the Cobbler thing a five out of ten because it was. Chocolate, trash. No. Um, the a, burrito uh, seven point five. The spicy chicken sandwich a nine point eight. L.A. Street Dogs six point five. Bourbon Smash Burger eight point eight. And then today's, which was make today's. Yeah, so seven and six. Oh, it's been pretty pretty even around. So I didn't taste this. Oh, I had tell us. peaches. I was going to sing the Peaches song. Do it. Peaches, peach. oh. No, you. Go, go do it. Go, go Rich. You Ready watched go. it. Go. No. You're so. Sing it, Ernie. So I have Peaches and <laughs> uh, Blueberry Crisp. They, the, the Crisp should be hotter, I think. But it's warm. No, it's warm. It's good. Oh. The ice cream should be a little soft. Little tart, Mm-mm. no, not at all. Mm. 
Peaches and what? Um, blueberry. Peach blueberry crisp. Could have sworn you said blueberry. 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 Blue. Yeah. I was going to say. He said blueberry. <laughs> Nate's got something to say. Crap. Always. Always negative. negative Immediate. Nate. Nine out of ten. <laughs> this is orgasmic. I was gonna, I, I was going to give you the negative Nate. Uh, Name, you're always no, like then, just the initial bite. The initial bite. Even without the ice cream, bro, it's good. Oh my god! I'm gonna add ice cream to it, but I might take it, take away from it. Immediate nine out of ten. Superb. Wow. Dude, this, this, this is really good. I'll put the recipe down in the description. This is good stuff. And you don't, it, I've made it with apples, I've made it with peaches, I've made it with blueberries, I've made it with cherries. I've made, you can make it with anything. Just, yeah. There's something about peach, though. It has a unique taste to it, whether it's in a pie, yeah. in a drink. You know what I mean? It's just, it, there's always something different with it. Like, it's really good. What did you call this? Peach blueberry crisp. Mm. Wow. Or crumble. I don't mm. know the difference, honestly. But cobbler is a little bit different, but I don't know the difference. Like, I guess burnt crumble. It's good. Makes up for the stupid chicken I bought today. Yes. You know what? It's it's a crumble is just a crisp without oats in the streusel. Oh, so this has oats. It may feature nuts, but the streusel topping is usually a simple combination of butter, flour, sugar, more clumpy. Then it's a crisp. What kind of and nuts? That of crisp. These. <laughs> <laughs> if you go back and watch last week's episode, I looked at you and I said, "What kind of nuts?" And you're all, "Um, I think they're kind of." <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> Try your crisp. No, I'm not. The people. The people want to see you do it. It's good, bro. They're saying, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm going to say this. Say it. Let's hear it. If this was the last dessert that I was ever going to eat out of all the desserts that I've eaten on this show... 10 out of 10. If it was the last? If it was, yeah. Like, if I wasn't going to eat anymore, this is, this is. So the we should have done this for, like, episode 19 <laughs> where you're not coming back for 20. <laughs> Can I take my score back? <laughs> See, this is what happens when you compliment him on something. See that? He does not accept it. Go ahead. Good. It's not overly sweet. Ice cream too cold. With everything that's involved in it, too hard. Cold. Is that a thing? Mm-hmm. Can ice cream be too cold? Sensitive to yeah, it's sensitive. But normally, anytime you eat ice cream, oh, so it's not just this no, ice cream. This is. If it were, if the ice cream were softer, it'd be better. But I gotta like leave it on the roof of my mouth and like squeeze it with my tongue. Yeah, I to normally melt take it, it out and let it sit for a couple minutes before. But I forgot. I can't. I can't stand people who bite ice cream. I don't think those people exist. They are. I've seen them. Whether it's an ice cream cone or whether it's one of those like no. little. <laughs> those people are not real people. Those, yes. They don't exist. He just made a. I I swear know. on everything. A I popsicle? have seen. You don't bite a popsicle? No. You bite popsicles. Okay. You bite a popsicle. You no. could bite a popsicle. Ice cream. 
I've bite seen it. ice cream like with your teeth? I have seen people bite popsicles Do and you ice, bite cream. ice cream like with your teeth. <laughs> like, like you're chewing at something. If it was oh, like, that hurt. Just you doing that <laughs> made my teeth hurt. If it was like a cone or something, like no. like like a scoop of ice cream, like this right there. I wouldn't bite this because it's like spoon size. But I'm saying like if it was like a like a big scoop or something. Yeah, I think that's fine. I would bite into that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, well, you I guess don't you could lick it. Yeah, but like, what if you want? You, it's good. You want to eat it? And just I don't think you people bite like no. This you don't though. bite this. No, but it, I would see that it hits the back of your teeth or something. Just like ridiculous. Wow. What did I say? Two out of ten. <laughs> it's good. Excellent, dude. This would have went well with what I was originally going to make today. But what were you? What were you going to make? make? Now I don't want to say. I don't think you had anything prepared. I have. So I was going to make <clears throat> the my favorite. Most places I go, I will look to see if they carry this, and if they do, and I haven't had it, I'll order it. Um, I order at Velvet. Every once in a while still. It, they make a decent one. It's a classic. It's a diner classic. Um, sandwich, hamburger, I don't know what it is. No guesses. Not Turkey cool. Club? <laughs> no. You said sandwich. I think it's a sandwich. You think it's a sandwich? Right? Patty melt. Mm. Sandwich. That wouldn't be a burger. That, that wouldn't be a burger. What makes a burger a burger? Just the bun? The bun? Just That's it? Just the I bun? I don't think so. So if I took a cheeseburger out of the bun and put it in bread. Now it's, it's a sandwich. A yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's the bread. It is a bread. Mm. What kind of bread comes on a patty melt? The Traditionally buns. rye. Bread. Bread. Not buns. Yeah. That's why it's kind of a sandwich burger. Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich burger. Hey, um, that would have been interesting because I don't think I've ever you, had one of those. So good. Can, can, can you serve me a little bit more? So good. Just a little bit more. Swiss cheese. Yeah, I don't think I've had one of those. I could be wrong, but I don't. Caramelized onions. Um, some serve it with like, like a Thousand Island in it. I normally serve it like on the side so you can dip it if you want into like this Thousand Island type dressing or ketchup too i like dipping I, i'm a a ketchup dipper it's like oh. if i'm eating a burger or a sandwich yeah. like a club sandwich, those type of sandwiches not like a ham and cheese i'm not dipping that in ketchup mm. um i like to dip my burgers and stuff in ketchup i like to pour i'm a dipper i'm a pourer just plop it in yeah, I'm not a poor one. Mm. No. But yeah, I was going to make a patty melt. I have everything to make the patty melts too. And then I bought the uh, sweet potato fries. Yeah. Sweet potatoes to cut up and make sweet potato fries. So you're saying I changed your mind? You kind of did, but it would have made the house hot too. Mm, true. So it was just like, oh, you know, that makes sense. We would have all been like sweating right now. When you're saying dipping stuff, that made me think of a of a certain article that just happened recently. In Florida, there is a Japanese steakhouse that closed down because a lot of its customers tested positive for meth. <laughs> what? Yeah, Japanese steakhouse in Florida closes after customers um, allege meth poisoning. They're complaining about it? All right. <laughs> wow. Seven people said they were poisoned with methamphetamines last month after eating at a hibachi table. What's a hibachi table? Is that where they like cook around you? Yeah. So kind of like or a, you sit around them and they cook. Uh, what is that? Where are the restaurants? Is it Benihana's? No. 
I think there's Shirushonis, I think, in Stockton. Would be that. There's another I restaurant. Think. Maybe Benihana's. And they cook in front of you, and it's like that. You guys like that? You know, I, I'm not a fan. I will go because people go for, oh, it's our birthday. Oh, where are they going to eat? I'll go. I won't complain. I'll eat it. But. You're gonna say <laughs> you're like I won't complain, but you're about to complain. No, about but it right I won't now. complain at the time. Oh, okay, okay. You no. know, if anybody wants, okay, cool, that's fine. But to me, the food is too expensive for what it is. Mm-hmm. To me, it all tastes the same wherever you go. You know, you're paying twenty, forty dollars to be some idiot opening your mouth, getting crap thrown in it. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like some freaking circus animal. <laughs> They do that to you. They did that to you, didn't they? Did they? Oh my gosh! They, they all. They, no, every, they've never done it to go, me. No. <laughs> you're one of those people. I was like, <laughs> you have to. The onions on. <laughs> so I, it just all tastes the same. All tastes mm-hmm. the same to me. Too expensive. I just. Yeah, I'm not a fan of top either. twenty, thirty, forty places to go. I would never pick one of those places. Yeah, ever. I agree. It's not a fan. It, it, does. it, it all tastes. It's just, yeah, yeah. it's sub standard food quality. Just, mm-hmm. it's just you know. Right. But it's good for big peop- big events, you know. Large a lot parties. Of people, large parties, yeah. you know, the fire. Ooh, like we've never seen fire before. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Remind me, remind me never to invite yeah, her to my parties so, when I go there. So, is that why you didn't come to my birthday party last time? <laughs> Like, ooh, big fire. Wow, happy birthday. Oh you made a volcano for what money. You? Oh, what are you doing with the liquid? You're going to light it on fire. Oh, my God, surprise. Surprise. Oh, my God, you made a train out of the onions? Or? <laughs> wow. Oh, no, the big thing is a volcano. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you want not, excitement not. at your party, invite Ernie. Yeah. You, everybody, <laughs> everybody has to act like they've never seen it before. <laughs> it's Ooh. true. <laughs> no, it's Dude, true. That's so true. You see it on TV, you see it on commercials, then you're sitting like, whoa, oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, Just enjoy the moment. And the okay? guy tosses something and it goes in his hat. <laughs> Gosh, this is so dumb. Just enjoy the moment. <laughs> Someone has it planned to ask me to go with them to their party and they're picking their, they're, they're, they're listening to this like, oh, no, they're all, I got to change the whole location now. <laughs> we were actually going to take had, you. We've had reservations for three months. Now we got to <laughs> change it. We are actually going to take you to a, uh, a bocce girl for your birthday. Ernie. So I'm not yeah. a fan. I, I've been taken to my birthday. One, there once for my birthday. Yeah, you didn't say nothing? This was 15 years ago or so. So there's something more to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't like these places. No, but I mean, no, but I remember being taken there on my birthday. It was just kind of, all right. Cool. 15 years ago. What happened 15 years ago? Dun, dun, dun. Maybe like 12. 15 years ago. About 12, maybe. Journey. <laughs> no. Journey. <laughs> <laughs> no. He said, I will not go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> My therapist said not to talk about <laughs> <laughs> hey, How old was I 15 years ago? 12? No. Sorry, my math's horrible. What's 27 minus 15? I, you're, you're looking at the wrong person <laughs> asking on. that question. Hold on. About 12, right? I'm a psych major. I'm a psycho. 15. 12. Well, I was in Dang. seventh grade. What was I doing at 12 years old? How old were we when, <laughs> when you, I think you were in my class and we walked to our houses and I walked, we were in at Fremont. Were you at school with me, in class with me? Fremont. Yeah, right there on uh, Briggs Moor. Okay. Fremont Elementary. Yeah. Did you ever go to that school? I went to Fremont. Where we, <clears throat> as a class, we walked to everybody's house, and you took in front of, a picture in front of your house. You don't remember that? You were in my class? Was it? Was I in your class? When, I, did I you, you remember doing that? I don't remember doing so that. So we didn't live in the district. 
So we lied of where we lived. So we said we lived in, I think it was either your house or your neighbor's house the, on this side. Yeah. Bal- Balboa. Balboa. Mm-hmm. So we oh, everybody Balboa. was like, we actually, the time, hey, there's so, a lot of stories. On dang, the Balboa. whole class, <laughs> second grade or whatever, we all walked to everybody's house during school Holy. as a whole group. And we would take pictures at their house, at each kid's house. So you would see their house and stuff. I, we lied where we lived. And I think it was your house. And you guys had to go. To so we had, I had to go to your house and like, I was so scared. I had to run in front of your door and take a quick picture and then run. What? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, because I think we used your address then. What grade were you in? I was like second it? grade or something. Oh, second grade? Dang. Yeah. Oh, see, I wasn't. I didn't go to Fremont until like I was in that's, like fifth grade. You were grade. going to a different school. I think that's why we used your address. Your parents knew. We, like It wasn't just like, hey, we'll just. So we used your address. Where the heck was I there. going? I don't know. So then we, I take a picture in front of your door. I think you had like writing on your freaking front door and stuff. Like, <laughs> Are you sure it was mine? Or either yours or the neighbor's it was, over. It might have been the neighbor's. But we wouldn't use the neighbor's, random neighbor's address. What if it, it wasn't there his grandparents? No. Well, no. The other side on your left. Across the street. Your house. Because second grade, I was going like heart ransom or something. So facing your door, the house on the left. Ben was on uh, the right. Okay, okay. So Balboa House, our Balboa, Balboa House. Next was door was you. Mm-hmm. Was it right next door? Left, yeah, right next door. Yeah. To the left or to the right? Facing the house. Yeah, to the left. To the left. Yeah. Oh, you guys were in the gated fence. Or was there that wasn't one there? Wasn't before. there at yeah. your guys' time? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we actually really. What's surprising is all the whole class would walk down the street. That's crazy. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's far. It is. It's a far walk. That's a far walk. Yeah. But everybody was supposed to be in. Yeah. District, you know, we just lied about our address to go there. Wow. And I think we got caught, and then we had to leave. They kick you out. We didn't get caught because of that. But Wait. something else. So then we went to, like, Franklin or something. Wasn't it meth? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a <laughs> to say. Okay, so uh, no one's going to know this, but, I mean, if you want to Google map it. When I was going, remember Heart Ransom, right? Mm-hmm. I so, went to Heart Ransom. So Heart Ransom. For whatever reason, I think I was like second, third grade there, okay? From Heart Ransom, I walked home. To Balboa? No, to the trailer house. Oh, okay. Did you go through the orchards? No. I followed the street. And it, for, how old are you? I always base it off how old, I don't know how old I was in second grade. What are you like in second grade? You're... Six, seven? seven, around there. So a seven-year-old. That's a, what is it, like yeah. two, three miles? It's about almost three miles. From Heart Ransom to the, to the trailer. trailer trucks, or trailers. Yeah. Bro, oh, and dang. I remember walking. Just one day, done with school, and they're like, you know, I just watched the bus, just drive off. Didn't care, just started walking. Started walking home, walking home, walking And it's like no big deal, huh? And it wasn't a big deal. And I remember the bus even pulled up. I was almost home. The bus pulls up to me, and they're like, what are you doing? Get in the bus. And I was like, I'm almost home. And I walked home. Just walked all the way home. Wow. And what's so crazy is I would think even, because I grew up on Southside Modesto, right? <clears throat> um, Imperial, like out in that area. Fairview Park, all that market and all that stuff. In kindergarten, there's right behind the school, there's this huge orchard. There's a giant open field there's the park fairview park and all that stuff (laughs) as a kindergartner or a first grader however old you are there walking through the orchard next to the canal all the way through an open field to get to my house as a first what are you five six years old you know what i mean like dang crazy crazy times Good times. Good times. They were. Times. They were. They were. I don't know. None of my st- I have no like crazy stories. Well, no. I mean, by the time your age was yeah, around, it's like, uh, no, you're not going outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. I remember getting off the bus and then being in the middle of like a, sir, can you just stop? <laughs> that <laughs> was the timer. Well, no, it was pretty good. Yeah, we're we doing all heard it. I uh, got off the bus and there was like supposed to be a gang fight. <laughs> At the school down the street. Okay, I have I have stories about fights, dude. But like, I I, I don't know about 
they weren't gangsters whatsoever. This guy comes up sharpening a pencil. Like yeah, that's dangerous. Like he's just just sharpening his like lead pencil or something. And I'm like, dude, come on. So me and a couple of friends, we just sh- sat at the corner. They were across the street, and then you just see another group of guys coming up, and they just start going at it. Okay, so I have a thing about fights growing up, right? It uh, rose it, only a few minutes. Uh, uh, Roosevelt Junior High. Oh, right? Roosevelt Junior High. I went to Roosevelt Junior High too, seventh eighth grade. There was something about back then, okay, and I I think I was like in seventh grade, just barely went into junior high, and I had to walk through Roosevelt Park to get home. That's where everybody fought. That was like they didn't fight at school. They literally waited until after school, and they would meet at these this park but the crazy thing was is that when you're watching these two guys fight whether they're seventh or eighth graders back then for some strange reason everybody looked like men already you know and they're like just straight up just they got their hands squared up and just like straight up like boxing each other and you're you're sitting there like now i I look back and i think like to me they we were all in the same grade but they we see it, they just look like like two dudes fighting, like fighting. And you look at the fights now, and you're like, seventh and eighth graders, you're like, bro, this little scrawny kid, <laughs> Dude, what the heck true. is this? You know what I mean? It was, it's just, it was such a different time change, like from then till now, you know, just completely, completely different. I think, uh, so I've had this, this uh, theory that, so in, when I was in seventh grade, the eighth graders looked like adults. Like they were tall, mm-hmm. they were mus- mm-hmm. like mus- muscular, pe- like they looked like straight adults. And then you looked at the seventh grade class that I was in, it was like just little kids. So there's something that happened between yeah. that generation yeah. and that, that group of kids. And yeah, something definitely happened. These guys. <laughs> wow, bro. Mother. Where's that knife? <laughs> Keep that knife away from me. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. I've, oh, I've yeah. never been in a fight. I've been in a couple. Never. Yeah. Little. No, I just. They were just too scared. <laughs> no, he's, he's Victor's brother. He's Victor's brother. I'd be afraid to. Have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never ever ever been in a fight. Besides, yeah. like Vin, like, but that's not. It's yeah. well, right. No, you wanted to kill him that night. We weren't yeah. like. It was more that was more of a, Ugh, and then to the ground kind of thing, not like a. Never. No. Just trying to think. Been in a couple. There's one where one guy brought like five of his friends to try and fight me because he thought I called his girl a, a B. And like dude came up in my face. His friends were about to like grab me and hold me down. Like I was just like, what's going on? And then I w- would ride the bus. So I went to my bus stop where all the kids are at. And I brought like 10 kids with me. And then they all just kind of like back. They didn't even go to the school. That somehow got onto the Modesto High campus, which, I mean, it's easy. You just walk on campus. <laughs> but Modesto High, that's where all the fights happened. Yeah, that was a bad school. Yeah. It was not a bad school. It's a great school now. It was then, too. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that D- was. Davis High. I think, nah, I, uh, Davis is probably a little worse. Davis now is horrible. It's a horrible school. Yeah. Modesto High is just great all around. Let us know where you went to high school. And if uh, you got into any fights, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. And when we come back, we are going to be playing Caesar's Empire. We get to play a game? We get to play a game. We have a lot of people that DM me like, dude, I want to see a game. Well, I was one of them. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be right back after this quick break. And we will be playing Caesar's <laughs> Empire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Welcome back. We are here playing Caesar's Empire. Caesar's Empire. So really, really fun game. It looks like a lot is on the table, but it is actually a very simplistic game to play. So super simple, super simple. It's pretty much you're building roads back to Rome using your little figures. We all have them. So the point of the game is to pretty much create enough roads back to Rome. That's how you build your points. Each token you get comes with a token for the area that you've visited as well as a, uh, I guess, resource token. Mm -hmm. So 
you get points for both the area token and the resource token, as well as some gold coins. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's two to five players. They say 30, 60 minutes. We, it's, it's not that long, but we won't sit through and play. Four right. Minutes. It'll be like super like, zzz, 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 fast, like <laughs> fast yeah. forward. Well, uh, <laughs> once we get through the ex- explanation piece, we'll just fast forward yeah. everything. So the point is, like you said, roads leading back to Rome. Yeah. And keeping score and everything. It's a highly, highly reviewed game. But it's so it's a simple game. Um, five minute, two minute learning. Yes, yeah. we went to like two yeah. minutes. Or, mm-hmm. So it's really simple. Yes. Um, yeah. Sweet. So let's get started. It's like a forty dollar game, but it, Amazon Prime was like fifteen. Ooh, those Prime Day deals. Super mm-hmm. good. Oh deal. yeah. And I was yeah. it was on my like board game wish list. List. Oh. We all have a board game list. Yeah. All the time. This one was on my. I'll have to make one. I, I have a, <laughs> a video game list and a. So we'll go. We'll let Richard go first. Oh. You have to start from a road. I like a rich like lined his up like an army. Yeah, I know. Mine's yeah. all just. <laughs> I know. Mine's <laughs> over here. Just got to throw a it bunch together. of peasants. <laughs> <laughs> you know this looks. Uh, do I face him towards Rome or away okay. from him? Away from him. So we'll take this one. So I got wood. Whoa. Oh, dang. Resource. Uh, resource. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like resource. Was. <laughs> yeah. Can you put two right after Rich? Yeah, give me that gold coin, baby. Ooh, so that's wow. double points. So wait, you got one here. You're, red, you're blue. Uh-huh. You got one because you're red. Now that's double, so he gets four and you get two. Two. No, two. Oh. Yeah. No. No. There you go, buddy. You go. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> I'm learning, Mom. <laughs> it's one point for Ernie. One point for Ernie. This is, okay, I can see where the strategic... Because you want to see what the resources are. Cause, so you get points for having the same amount of one resource yeah. as well as yeah. multiple resources. Yeah. So you kind of have to figure out, you know, where you want to go, what resource do you have already? Right. So I will go here. Oh, no. double point. Oh yeah, he can. Huh? Mm-hmm. And your road has to lead back to Rome. Yeah. You can't just, I can't just say, just like oh, randomly, yeah. Two. Yeah. But this person also gets two points, by the way. So uh, how many do I get? Two, and I get two. Okay, and Blue gets two. Because he has to go through my road. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. This strategic piece. It is. It is. You can see where it turned. Mm -hmm. It could Mm -hmm. really. You know what? Give me two more going past my guys. This way? Yeah, to five. Historians. <laughs> Is that gold or Julius no, a wheat. Julius Caesar died a holy man. Sorry. Dang it, ah. I screwed that up. <laughs> wow. I screwed that up. <laughs> Four Two blue four. and one yellow. It was supposed to say Julius Caesar was very religious. In the end he he died a very holy man. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed that up. Just fast forward through that part. No, <laughs> no, don't add that into the thing. 
Hey, he's getting all the, the gold coins. Strategy, no, it's not the best strategy. Because now look at you get yeah, one, two, three, you four. Points. You got eight points. Eight? Yeah. Because there's four. That was a goal he doubled. Oh. Eight. Nate gets two. And Ernie gets two. Why do I only get two? Because you only have one red. It's double. This doesn't get that's a different road. You're going this way. You have one red. So you got two points. Yeah, I get the score. I got it. I got it. You okay. doubled that. Mm-hmm. Because it was a gold coin. Got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Not very smart. Move. Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could have been. But. Um, okay. This kind of reminds me of Ticket to Ride. It's very similar. I could see that. Three. Three. Got to keep in mind, too. You only get the highest score. Right. Of each. Unless you get all of them of the same color, then you add them all up. We'll take the northern route. Remember the north. You give yourself points. Oh, how many do I get? Two. Two. You can throw my guy at the end. This should be going up from the five. Yeah. Yes, sir. So one, two, three, four, five red and one blue. <sighs> Dude, I've been giving rich way too. Thank you, long. Nate. army up <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to give nate all those points oh <laughs> yeah it's true. every time someone goes yep give me points rich give me points go for the wood <laughs> <laughs> um two more down there ernie Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh. One, two. two blue three blue, three blue. two yellow Down uh, four to five. Man, look at Wow, he's going to. He's all on the eastern front. Look at that. The Red Army. He's a Red Army. Eight red and one blue. Eight red? One blue. Do not pass go. (laughs) Do not collect 200. See, that's interesting. He's gonna go there if we don't. Give me that double. Give me that double, baby. Best. Give me the double. Yeah, we can. There's no way we can. You can't block it. We could block. It. You oh, could. if we get it, he can't get the double points. If we put a shorter route to Rome, <sighs> then we win. but you won't be able to do that because it'll take three turns instead of two. It'll take one. Together, three, we will two. rule the galaxy. One, oh, son two. of a. <laughs> <laughs> My new empire. Your new. Oh, you're a little B piece of crap. Um, so it's one yellow and two blue. Don't do it, Rich. With our powers combined. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> Why do you got to leave me to be the bad guy? It's all right. I see another way. I see another way. 
Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. The blue will rule this world. <laughs> so one, two, three, six blue and two yellow. And just so you know, you have to take the shortest route. Yeah, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go the two above, so I'm still on my long route. Up here? Yep. Oh, okay. You're a smart guy. Yeah, I am a smart guy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red, and one blue. Oh, he passed me. Caesar, we talk in this voice because this is what the empire people used to talk like. So now let's start with you. I would think that he we'll sounded a little more so like I'll, this. I'll show you how this works. Okay. Okay. So I have one green is two. Okay. Two points. One two. Okay. One blue is two. One two. The highest scoring of the yellows was four. One two three four. Four for the highest of these. One two three four. Four. One, two, three, four, and then one. And then we go to here, ten. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you guys had to get to do this, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Two. So what if you reach two, 100? And then, uh, right here, and then zero, zero. But then 14, depending on how many different ones, resources you have. Oh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and then one gold. Gold. Is that zero? Zero. zero points. Okay, so wah, I have wah, 91 wah. points. That's up. Wow, Dang. look at We're actually tied, though. Dang. But so uh, you might have a lot more. Rich, I don't know. We'll let's see. start with your. Okay, so we'll match go, the colors on top of each other. This is the, um, the highest. The highest? Is seven. Eight? Eight. And then we have uh, two. two, and then we have another eight, three, one, and one. And then we have on my uh, resources, mm -hmm. two. Um, 20? Yep, 20. And then... Um, the height to this yeah, one, right? Nine. nine. And then four, four goal. D oh, wow. Shoot. <laughs> okay, so I am superior. Okay, so five. Five. Six. Six. Three. Two. Okay, so... Zero and zero. Oh, you got, got oh, you do have a lot over there too. So I don't have nothing for this, right? I don't think so. So in here, would that be four? No, it'd be two. Just two and then two though. Oh well, you go this way, so nine. Nine for how many? Okay, you get? so nine. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. And then and then up. Up. Two. Two and then mm -hmm. two. Yeah, so four. 
Okay, and then nine sixteen. Oh, 16. Oh, yes. dang! By two <laughs> points. If you would have got one more resource, it went for resources. You would have won. Yeah. This is my new empire. Your new empire. That's real quick. Richard, my allegiance empire. is to Caesar, <laughs> to so democracy. You could see how liar. You could see how there could be. I hate you. <laughs> You were my brother, Richard. <laughs> I loved you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was Caesar's Empire. We will put a uh, link down in this. In that was pretty fun. Actually, I can't put links yet. But I will put the name of the game down in the bottom descri- good description. Game. Yeah. All right. Really good game. Really fun. Really quick and easy. 25 minutes, if that. And we'll be back. And we'll be right back. (laughs) All right. That was Caesar's Empire. Hail Caesar. Don't make me kill you. You did win. I'm good at conquering. I'm not good at memorizing. (laughs) (laughs) I got second place. (laughs) I got third. (laughs) Ernie's recruits are still. uh, Yeah. We're still in training. Yeah. Well, everybody. Sorry. Well, everybody. <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, so, thank you all for watching Hungry and Bored, episode eighteen. We finally got through a, like an entire playthrough of a game, and it was fun. Very proud of us. Very. Only took us eighteen weeks. <laughs> well, no, we we played, played a couple other ones. No, they were really quick. The tower yeah. one. That, Collapse strike right away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tower One. My bad. <laughs> Onitama. Oh, I still want Onitama's good. Onitama's I haven't played that one. Yeah. That one's, yeah. Onitama would be a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram at hungry and bored, B O E R D underscore. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anything good stuff. I'm your host, Nate. He is. Mm-hmm. And with me. Um, yeah, I was telling Rich earlier, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, did I, I didn't say it on camera that I, I don't like not cooking. Mm. Maybe cause you didn't like the food. I maybe, think so. Maybe. Yeah. I if you would have so. loved it, I'd be like, yeah, woo. Yeah. But you, it was just, uh, but you, you know, even said, but you even said it, w- it was a different, like for you not to cook, it was a different vibe. Like, yeah, you just, I just felt like yeah. I was useless today. Everyone's like, what's wrong with Ernie? I mean, you are. But <laughs> yeah, you, you were he pretty useless lonely. today. I mean, you came in third place. His girlfriend break up with him. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just saying. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's wrong with him? I'm just like, I didn't cook. I didn't. Yeah. Ernie didn't that, cook that'll today. Mess I got him no up. joy yeah. today. Yeah. That will yeah. really mess him up. Say a prayer for Ernie. So next week, he will have a meal, though. He yes. Will. He will have something very good. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Something out of pocket. Just kind of. <sighs> out of pocket. Out of pocket. <laughs> out of pocket. That's got to be unique. Yep. Something. something You've been. Su- have you been knowing what he's gonna cook? Yeah. <sighs> I put it in there. <laughs> no, you <laughs> didn't. Not this week. Not no. last week either. Oh yeah. <laughs> we. So me and I'm Ernie. I'm literally just kind of like I don't know what we're eating. <laughs> me and Ernie, we talk to each other every single day. Yeah. And every so, single day he calls yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Every day. Every day. I talk to him more than I talk to my own mom. <laughs> <laughs> every day he calls me. What are you doing, little bee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, oh, here I work. <laughs> Every day. Every day. And so we just talk about, all right, so what, what's the plan? It's literally, hey, what's the plan this weekend? I don't when know. When you call him, does he answer you and talk to you like you're wasting my freaking time? Like, what do you want? No. Why do I feel that? <laughs> <right now? laughs> He's a liar. He never, <laughs> no, he he never even call, he never even calls me. I literally no, called him. But and I, I have this He's theory all, though. What's up? And I'm like, uh, bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have this theory though, is that if I'm boring Ernie, he will say, "Hold on, I'm getting a call. I'll call you back." And so I just hang up. No, and I never get a phone call he back. He calls me, and I'm always at work. Always at work. So I'm like, oh, if I got a call or someone like, oh no, hey, I got, or someone's walking in my door, I'm like, oh, hold on, I'll, I'll call you back. 
And then I just caught up in work, and yeah. it's like four hours later. He never calls me back. No, it, it, no, it, I'm I'm just blown away how there's three of us on a chat sometimes, and this guy just. It's like he throws his phone in the ocean and just does not respond at I'm all. I'm not a good texter, <laughs> like, texter backer. Uh, I'm true. not. And I, I need to get better at uh, communication, I guess. Yeah. But I'm more of a call me and I'll answer if I am if I can. No, yeah. yeah. I'd have to say about 90% of the time, if I call Ernie, he answers within the first ring. Because if I'm on doing something and I see the text, I, you know, like, okay. The moment I hear the second or third ring, I just hang up because I know, all right, he's busy. If I answer, I, if I can answer, I will answer. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yes. No, that's fine. Detoured off. Call yeah. Ernie. He'll Call answer. me. I'll answer. But thank you for watching Jesus. Hungry. Huh? Huh? What? 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 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry and bored. <laughs> Call him up. Call him up. Tell, Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up. You know that song? I don't know that song. Oh. This is before my time, oh man. My God. Call him up and tell him what you want. Let's talk about Jesus. But, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you knew. No, I knew that much. <laughs> God. Okay. Help Sorry. us all. Okay, now we're done. Okay, now we're done. Thanks for watching. Hungry and bored for the third time. I'm your host, Nate. Can you introduce yourself? Can you, can you, like, oh, he, you know what? He say, does that on purpose. He signs off. He like, really does yeah, that on purpose. Yeah. No, he just no. says, uh, and and, yeah. I'm your host, Nate, and with I'm me. Not, I'm not the host. <laughs> I'm not going to do his job. We have <laughs> Ernie <laughs> and Rich. And Rich. Like and subscribe. No elbows up this time. <laughs> 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 That's your dog, man. Dog's more excited to see me than he is you. Oh, dang. <laughs>